So you're going to need one box of cake mix. I'm using Super Moist Lemon Cake Mix. And this one already has the pudding in it. If it didn't have pudding mix in it, I would have bought a box of lemon pudding mix. You're going to need two sticks of melted butter, four eggs, and one and one fourth cup of milk. So I'm mixing all of my ingredients together. It does not matter which order you mix your ingredients. I'm just picking them up and dumping them in there. I am using my KitchenAid mixer, but you can use a hand mixer if you want to. I will start my mixer on a low speed so the flour does not get everywhere and then I will increase it. Right here, I'm just scraping the bottom of the bowl just in case any flour did not mix. Once your batter is mixed, you want to grease your pan. I am using butter. You can use Crisco or any other type of oil so your cake does not stick to your pan. Next, you're going to put half of the mix in one pan and the other half into another pan. I am using 9 inch pans, but I should have used a smaller pan because these were a little bit too big. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and put both of these pans in there for 30 minutes. You do want to use a toothpick or a fork in the middle to make sure they're done and if nothing sticks to the toothpick or the fork it's done so while my cakes bake for 30 minutes i'm going to go ahead and make my icing i am using two cups of powdered sugar and two sticks of softened butter Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of pear vanilla extract and one teaspoon of heavy whipping cream. I start off with one teaspoon of heavy whipping cream and then I gradually add more until it's to a consistency that I like. So to make the icing taste like lemon, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of lemon curd. So after my cakes have cooled for an hour, I'm going to go ahead and start to ice them. But first, I'm going to put a layer of lemon curd on the bottom layer. I do put the other cake on top, but I do go back and put icing in between them. Since this cake does have eggs and milk and butter in it, I was unable to taste it, but everyone else in my family said it was very delicious from my husband down to my niece. But if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you like these types of videos because I will post more. Also, hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you all in my next video.